So yeah, man, I mean, we got we got it all in here. We got custom touch menus. We have a whole separate set for vehicles, uh, taps, holds, double taps. This It's got it all. You know, yeah, I will take the Pepsi challenge with this. This is the best Daisy profile you're ever going to find. Boom. Drops the mic. Actually, I'm not, I'm not going to drop the mic. It's kind of a pain in the ass to set up my mic. So, alrighty. Hello out there. Well, boy. I've been, um, I've been busy. I haven't gotten much sleep. So, okay, it's here. Daisy Profile. I had one up, but it was just the basics. I went back. This is a complete overhaul, so bear with me. It's going to be a little tedious, but I want to cover everything. If you've used my previous profiles, just, you know, keep an open mind, because I, I realized what I was doing was I was making profiles based off of making expatter profiles, which is based off of limitations of other X input controllers, Blah, blah, blah. So I basically, I came back at it thinking of the Steam Controller, take advantage of everything in the Steam Controller, so it's a lot different than what it had been. So, right away, like what, the T's, the big things. <laughs> so I have touch menus with custom icons. So you're going to need to download these icons. I'll go over that stuff later. I just wanted to show it because that's pretty cool. I didn't make all of that. I mean, some of it I just kind of pop together myself, but some of these I found images of other stuff, whatever. So, okay, uh, let's first go over movement. Movement is forward is jog, all the way forward is sprint. Pretty simple outer ring binding. Click the stick will be a toggle for walk. So what that's going to do is toggle in control. So if I'm going forward, I click the stick, now I can slow walk. And now the reason I did that instead of the opposite of having the click be run is this feels more usable because we have the slow walk, but if something's coming and you need to move, you still have the sprint. But just bear in mind, I mean, this toggle is still in until you click that in, now it's off. But it gives you, you know, gives you nice range, you can toggle it in, so we got that. Tapping select is an auto jog. That toggles down W. So W is pushed, you know, so I can go do whatever, go to the bathroom, get some coffee, go check my, you know, loot maps or whatever. So I'm jogging around. Hit it again, turns it off. Camera and stance. All of that is bound to the paddles, okay? Tap it, changes view to first person. Hold it for free look, look around. Double tap it, locks in the free look. You know, so we can be angling around. Double tap it, locks it back in. So it's three stages on that. Click the uh, left paddle for crouch, click it again to stand up. Hold it, so like I'm running, hold it in, go down. Tap it, comes back up. Now the only, the reason it's a little tricky is uh, I actually have that set to a cycle. So what it's doing is on the tap is cycling between C and X. I mean, but I, I don't find that to be a problem. X would be reload for R, hold it for... Uh, the hell is the button command hold it for i can't even remember hold it for f is that right f is for the magazine that doesn't sound right or tap it to reload hold it to load in a uh, magazine i didn't think that was the use button i like i told you i didn't get much sleep i was testing so much on this <laughs> y is just vault a is just use but i switched that around use is also a click in so just click in the pad to take it. Which works really well for like opening doors, you know, you just push that in. That's why I took the prior I had um, stance 
on that, but it makes a lot more sense to have stance for me over here. Tilt is lean. That's you know, pretty snazzy. Now, if you're a traditionalist and you don't like that gyro stuff, that's also still on the stick. Modify is left bumper. You can still lean that way. And then modifying with that left, bu left bumper is also the hot bars. So the left pad is all of the currently supported gestures. And then the right one is your hot bar items. And it is also toggling down um, the hot bar, the show hot bar. It'll show it as long as you're holding it and then disappear as soon as you let it go. And the reason I put that on the right pad is so, you know, you can be moving, you can be running, and you need to switch. You can still do it while you're moving. And you're not really losing, I mean, I can still look around because I have the gyro mouse. The right bumper is throw, for throw a grenade. That's kind of simulating closer to uh, traditional shooters, which is why I'm saying if you've used my other profile, you know... Keep an open mind, this is completely different. That used to be change view. So if you try to change view, you're not going to throw something. So be careful. <laughs> yes. But this is more made, you know, I was forgetting old habits. I wanted to come at it like a new controller, new system. We have, you know, the basic tap that would go down iron sights. Uh, let me switch to the gun. You know, tap to go ADS, hold it for the zoom. Now, the full trigger has two different stages to it. A full trigger pull is a raise weapon, spacebar. Okay? And then full pit, full trigger hold is holster. So we got two functions on that trigger. Pretty effing fancy, huh? Inventory is B. I always like to have that. I know some people might want prone on that, but for a game like this, you use your inventory so much, I want it, you know, I don't want it up somewhere else. I want it very quick to get to. Uh, hold B is my microphone. Please don't shoot me if anyone is around. I am making an informative video. Double tap it to lock it in. Hello out there, world! Okay. D-pad. D-pad up. Up and down is mouse scroll up and down. And then hold it will be zeroing if you're, uh, if you're lucky enough to find a sniper rifle. Right will be change fire mode if you're lucky enough to get some military weapon. That's something, I mean, I play this game as a hermit. So I usually don't care about getting all military kitted up. That's just not my style. But I'm trying to support that stuff in here, so it should work out pretty well. That's the switch fire mode. And then right is, just for now, it's one on the hotbar, and then hold it for two. And that, I personally feel, is redundant, and I don't need it there, because I'm very happy with this full system here. But honestly... With the recent updates to the Steam Controller, I have so many options that I'm in a position where I'm not usually in, where I have extra space. <laughs> so, so I don't know. I mean, maybe put that for, like, night vision or something. I don't even remember if Daisy Standalone has dedicated night vision button, or is it like a head torch where you have to put it on and go in here and turn it on? I don't remember. But anyways, I mean, yeah, so you could rebind... Yeah, you can see we have a regular press for one, long press for two, the select button. That's the only only other thing. So tap, tap it for auto run, hold it. That's switching to a vehicle set, which is untested. I have honestly, I've only seen a vehicle in this game one time. So I have no idea if this is going to work, but that's, you know, like, trigger for accelerate, brake, Steer left and right, you know, it should be, and then just go back to default. 
So I wanted to put that in there just to support it for when, you know, but you can see it's, it's pretty sparse. So that one, that part's more of a foundation for you to build on. But everything in here, I mean, this is pretty darn, pretty darn robust, and I feel like it's pretty well tested. I'm feeling good with it. But yeah, I think that actually covered everything. I'm pretty happy. Also, this I just put in as a screenshot for whatever, what the hell, because it drove me crazy to not have a button there, since there's currently 11 gestures supported. I'm actually curious if you use this profile and don't have... don't download my icons, what happens? Does it just make them blank? Hopefully at least all the info is still there, but yeah. I will put a link to where to download those, and it's it's really simple. You just dump them in. You can find this one. I haven't uploaded it yet, but it will be, you know, I will call it's Existential Eggs Daisy 2 version, Daisy version 2 Activators Plus Set. I'll get that up in there so you guys can find it. And, um, yeah, this has been kind of a rambly video. I wasn't planning on recording this right now, but, you know, I wanted to get it up because it's, I'm excited about all these new features we have. Uh, I would also point out you definitely have to be in Steam Beta to be using this right now, but hopefully before too long we can get some, uh, you know, get this stuff into stable. But I'm excited. I'm really liking this update in DayZ. I mean, I can actually play the game with some, you know, with some effects now, and it looks pretty. It's, there's nice atmospheric, atmospheric fog. Hell yeah. Well, all right, that's that's all I got. I think I just broke the game. Damn it, I just lost my gun. All I was trying to do was to congratulate myself and clap hands. That was all I wanted to do. <laughs> but yeah, doing that with the gun in my hand seem, <laughs> seems to have... Pick it up, take it. Damn it. Yeah, you won't pick it up now. Oh! They can make it perfect through software. As really, I mean, that's what I'm going to say. Rebel bike destroyed. <laughs> the butt crawl. Do 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 do. Okay. Yes, you get it. <clears throat> yes, I feel it. The energy vibrating. <laughs> oh.